let's get into our final guest here, who is Be Beba Svigir. I was practicing your name all the morning. <laughs> CEO of Calgary Immigrant Women's Association, and you guys are part of the group uh, putting on some of the events happening this weekend for International Women's Day. It, let's start with who you guys are as an organization. So we are immigrants having agency that has been in existence for 34 years now, and we provide culturally sensitive integration and settlement services for immigrant women, for newcomers and immigrant women who require support in all aspects of integration from literacy and language training through health services, education, uh, family supports, employment services, uh, bridging programs for professional immigrant women, specialized bridging programs for low literacy immigrant women, support for youth, for mm -hmm. seniors, for children in all aspects of life for all families immigrant families in Calgary, but our primary client is always immigrant women. Mm -hmm. And so you guys are helping put some of the events on this weekend. Maybe explain some of those. We are. We have a, a, a big event, which is a collaborative of seven or eight organizations. Uh, and the event is taking place, the, the main gathering is taking place at Cardell Place on Sunday between 11.30 and 1, where we will do have some celebration, a proclamation of the International Women's Day by the mayor. And we will have four um, uh, specialized events, educational and promotional events at, uh, the, in collaboration with the Calgary Public Library at the following locations, and I have written them, so Country Hills and Saddledome in the Northeast and Fish Creek and Signal Hill in the Southeast. Um, so the agencies will have booths, we will have information, uh, videos and, and promotional materials about really the awareness raising about the gender disparity in the world and in Canada. We will be actually distributing memory sticks with basic information about the history of the International Women's Day and uh, basic facts that uh, we believe that the community should know about the disparity, the gender disparity. And uh, we would encourage all residents of Calgary to come either to Cadell Place or to one of those uh, libraries and join us in that celebration. And something you touched on a little bit earlier, actually let's get to our trending poll question and just look at the results because I'm going to ask you about it in a second because you had some really interesting facts about immigrant women specifically mm -hmm. and their mm -hmm. wages, mm -hmm. but why does Alberta have the biggest wage gap for women? 25% of you say fewer opportunities, 15% say that's the way it's been and 60% of you are actually saying the high cost of childcare. You can still vote at Trending on Shaw or if you have a different option that you would like to voice, you can tweet us at Trending on Shaw. But we were talking a little bit earlier that the wage gap between men and women is so big, but it's even greater for immigrants. Yeah. It's even greater for, for immigrants, and typically it is for the reasons of um, reasons that are in line with the um, regular integration challenges that immigrants face when they come to Canada. Um, I should say that more than 75% of immigrants that come to Canada are well-educated people with at least one bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. So there is a huge benefit and asset that immigrants bring to Canada in terms of the uh, power of education and the skills that they bring. However, sometimes their ability to speak English proficiently enough mm -hmm. uh, is impediment for them to access equitable jobs, which would be jobs in the, in the, uh, th that are paying the level of skills education that they bring to Canada. So because of the underemployment of immigrants, and mostly immigrant women, that gap is bigger. But we look at that as the, as the fact of life, as part of the integration. That's why we provide those language support services to enhance the proficiency level of immigrants so that their language proficiency matches their skills and training, and then they have a good chance of accessing equitable jobs. Where can people find the information about the events this weekend? Is it on your website? Yeah. There is the web page called International Women's Day Calgary. All organizations that are part of this collaborative, and I will mention them, uh, they are uh, University of Calgary Women's Centre, uh, Women's Centre of Calgary, YMCA, YWCA, Discovery House, Calgary Public Library, Montreal University, and Calgary Immigrant Women's Organization. We are the host, Calgary Immigrant Women's Organization is the host of the event. So all those organizations, their web page are, web pages are connected with the web page for the International Women's Day. Calgary Public Library has information about the, the um, uh, venues that this year we are hosting events at. 
and uh, definitely any information, any further information can be obtained through us, Calgary Immigrant Women's Association. Thanks so much for joining us this morning and I want to say thank you to all of you guys for coming in this morning. Great conversations and I hope everyone has a great International Women's Day on March 8th, which is on Sunday. Get out, enjoy the day, head to an event or just do some research and uh, learn some facts about uh, women in our country.